الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصلی اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد وعلی علی وصحبہ وسلم مبعد اے الحباب In speaking about zuhud fi dunya, and as we mentioned before, zuhud, or asceticism, is not allowing the worldly life and the love for it to enter into your hearts. Meaning preserving your hearts from being materialistic and loving the life of this world, coveting the life of this world at the expense of the life of the akhirah. So ayah al-ahbab, Islam gives us that balance. Because when we look at many other faiths, we see some that they propose giving up totally this worldly life. They go to the mountains, they meditate, they this and this and this. Nothing wrong going to the mountains and meditating. But they leave off this worldly life in totality. And restrict themselves maybe through monasticism by not even uh, marrying and, and so forth. And then another extreme is those individuals who indulge immensely in the world in this worldly life. They are they covet everything about this world, about the fame, the fortune, the wealth. They will do anything to maintain them themselves and their name in the media. And they in fact they worship fame and fortune. That's the other extreme. Islam is balanced and keeps us away from both of those poles. Ayul Ahbab, let's listen to a hadith of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam which refers to how to gain the love for Allah through zuhd. An Ibn Abbas Sahal Ibn Sa'ad Al-Sa'adi radiyallahu ta'ala anhu qal jaa rajulun ila nabiyyi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam faqal يا رسول الله دلني على عمل إذا عملته أحبني الله وأحبني الناس فقال ازهد في الدنيا يحبك الله وازهد فيما عند الناس يحبك الناس حديث حسن رواه ابن ماجه وغيره بأسانيد حسن in this hadith that was collected in, narrated in Ibn, uh, Ibn Majah, Sunan Ibn Majah, with a sound or a hasan, uh, uh, authentication of the hadith, authentication, in the hadith of Abi Abbas, Sahal ibn Sa'ad, Sa'ad al-Sa'adi, radiyallahu ta'ala anhu, he said that a man came to the Messenger of Allah, to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and he said, O Messenger of Allah, show me a deed that if I do it, Allah will love me and the people will love me. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, do not indulge in this life and Allah will love you. And do not become attached to what the people have and the people will love you. So perhaps a better form a translation of that would be do not become attached meaning do not allow your heart because we already define zuhud as defined by the ulama that it is not loving this life and especially at the expense of the akhirah not loving this life at the expense of the of, of the of the the hereafter so Ayyul Ahbab, if we want to attain the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then you should use this life as a means to worship Allah and remember Allah and not 
to gain material wealth and material gains just to pile up wealth with no benefit but in fact if Allah favors you with wealth then spend it in his cause and use it for good spend it in charity spend it on the poor and deserving spend it in dawah to, to propagate Islam to build masajid to build places to study Islam those are beautiful ways in which to use wealth if you're blessed with wealth. So it doesn't mean you should not strive to build a business and so forth. But keep in mind that your business and your striving, that is not the end result. That, that, that is a means. That is not the end. It is not the end. Meaning that you are not striving to just pile up wealth and to just start a big business and to just gain fame and fortune. But in fact, you're using those things which are good to do good, to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then you will gain the love of Allah Azza wa Jal. And if you are, you have zuhd with the people, meaning you don't covet what they possess, then they will love you. And Ayul Ahbab, this is haqiqi. This is something you will experience in your life if you have not already experienced this. I've experienced this much in my life, I've seen it and I've witnessed it, that many people who are become beloved to the people are the people who don't ask for anything from the people because a lot of times the people feel threatened if you ask from them, especially if it's excessive, if it's something, if it's not necessity, but the one who's always like, please, can I borrow this? Can I have this? Can you give me this? I need this. Oh, I like what you have. Can I have it? The one who's always coveting from you, then you'll see that sometimes something can happen in your heart that you can feel something that you you I'm not gonna call so-and-so because I know that they only are gonna ask for money from me they're only gonna request something of me but the one who never requests from you you have a more a higher regard and a higher love for them and this does not take away this does not have anything to do with being self-sufficient or being poor because there are many poor people who don't beg the people and don't ask of the people. And there are many wealthy people who uh, who give freely or who are self-sufficient and they don't ask. But then there are some of them who, who have wealth and they still ask of the people because of their stinginess. They still begging, can you give me this? Can you loan me this? Can you? Ayyul Ahbab. This is the beauty of the zuhd. And this is some of the beauty we gain from the ahadith of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in his life and his example. That if we want to gain the love of Allah, which we all want to gain, and may Allah love us and love you, then we should try to not put the life of this world into our hearts, but rather use it as a means for coming closer to Allah. And may Allah help us to practice that and put that into practice in our lives so that we, we are not, uh, so that we can be some of those people who gain the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And may Allah protect us from being in need of the people and from being of those people who beg the people and who become hated by the people instead of beloved by the people. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our sins وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم